what's up welcome back this is gonna be a, sh a fairly short video um i just go i always have to make sure that the people on my channel stay up to date in the newest scientific discovery so a european um some people from a european observatory i think about two weeks ago made it official that they found seven planets in the trappist system right and you know seven exoplanets and the reason why that's important, and for people who know, want to know what an exoplanet is, just basically any planet outside our solar system, right? And the reason why it's kind of important is because it's only 40 million light years away, and it's unique in the sense that I think three of the planets were discovered last year in May, but um, they had basically f the four additional planets were discovered now, and all seven of them are so close to each other. And what makes it interesting is because all seven planets are closer to each other than Mercury is to Earth, right? So basically, if you were on those seven planets, you would be able to see all seven planets basically as big as our moon in the sky. So if you were, so in a sense, what's crazy is that, I mean, that's an amazing view. And because the planets are kind of tidally locked into each other, they think it's possible that they could have life or they need the atmosphere. So not only did you discover seven planets, there could be an atmosphere and it could be life. And, you know, when people listen to this video, I don't expect even they would find life. Don't expect it to be um, advanced life, probably going to be microbial life. But even then, that's a very big discovery for science. And the amazing part of it is even if you're not into science, if you were into spirituality, it's still a good discovery because it just proves why astrology is becoming harder and harder to practice in an overall sense like meaning astrology if you look at it for for basically being able to figure out your personality in your everyday life you know discoveries like the seven exoplanets are not going to change that right because i like i said in a video before the seven major planets are the ones that really affect your everyday life in astrology anything outside of saturn doesn't affect your everyday life now i'm not going to say it doesn't affect you but if especially if you're not a practicing occultist even pluto uranus neptunes effects on us is, is limited in comparison to saturn mars and venus so when you start talking about the seven planets in the trappist system yeah of course their effects are going to be and not going they're not going to affect your everyday life but what happens is energetically when you start dealing with cycles in terms of advanced spiritual cycles of, of even civilization right then those be then those planets outside of saturn become I guess you could say impact us more. So the reason why astrology is becoming harder and harder to practice, if you're talking about making predictions of things like how people, some astrologers like to make end of the world or, or even major changes in the psychology of the pop pop of the planet in general of Earth, right? It's hard because one of the things that happens is that when you do an astrology, you actually have to keep track of all this. So all these things are actually on, in astrology is actually on the Pluto. So Pluto is, is one of those things where Pluto's a power that represents anything, any unseen cosmic forces, as well as any unseen cellular forces. So Pluto is kind of hard to break down in some ways because it, it, it actually works on two levels. It works on a cellular level, and then it works on a cosmic level. So anything unseen in astrology is under Pluto. And when I say unseen, unseen outside of our reality of those seven planets. So meaning if we have like a black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, even that's under Pluto. The seven planets 40 million years, 40 million light years away, that's under Pluto. So basically anything outside of that range of the seven forces, like we like to say seven archangels, seven angelic forces are actually under Pluto, right? So when you make discoveries, like when discoveries are made like this, for an astrologer, that's just more things that you put under Pluto that you have to calculate. That's why astrology ends up being a fairly hard science if you're going outside of predicting your energy, your energetic patterns, right? And per lifetime, if you want to project, if you want to predict your energetic patterns per lifetime, it's easier. So check out. I have a link about. I have a link. A few articles talk about the Trappist system. Um, it's an amazing discovery. Hopefully, we have more to to bring you eventually as the scientists start to see, like, wow, like um. It's a whole new world out there. And one interesting thing, and it, it kind of relates to more astrology when you deal with the, the, the new planets that were discovered, is the fact that some people would ask, how come we can see 
planets 40 million light years away, but things like the ninth planet, right, that was that potentially could be there we can't see. And the ninth planet is in our solar system, and the trapper system is actually obviously 40 million light years away. But the reason why we can see 40 million light years away is because we can see light. Basically, once you the further away you get from the sun, the darker it gets, right? So because it gets darker, even if something is in our solar system, especially if it's in the outer layers of our solar system, it's actually harder to see than a star 40 million light years away. And that actually has metaphysical connotations as well because what ends up happening is that metaphysically, that's why we can know certain things externally. Like if you look at our world, we know a lot more things externally about our world than we know internally. So there's actually things in the human body that we don't even know yet, even though we can map out stars sometimes hundreds of million light years away. And some, and when a person has not really come from a scientific background, that seems crazy because they would say, whoa, there's things in our inner world, not even inner world spiritually, our body that we don't understand, but we could map out places millions of light years away. And, that's the, and the same thing is true for the seas. We actually know more about space than we know about the sea. But again, that goes, that's because it's light. The further where you go, the easier it is to see stars f far away, right? But when you come to the outer levels of the solar system where the effects of our sun are limited, we can't see it. So check out the links. Let me know what you think about the trapper system. I actually wish this story would get more play because it's an extraordinary achievement or discovery, I should say. So till next time, peace.